the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, please be seated. Jesus says, You have given these to me out of the world, and I have kept them in your name. And I ask you, O Father, to keep them in your name. This idea that Jesus has people that he calls his own is a core concept of Christianity. And that this adoption of his of the apostles and those who followed him and believed in his name and knew that he was sent from the Father, this carries on to this day. This is why we have a sacrament of baptism. This is why we are called out of the world and are no longer in the world, of the world, <clears throat> but we are in Him. This concept that we are in Him, that we are part of Him, that we believe in His name and are entrusted to Him, and you see, it trusts us to the Father. This message goes forth to those who have already endured all and suffered much tribulation. St. Paul says the way to heaven is paved with much tribulation. But these are the ones who believe and persevere no matter what comes. These are the ones who are the good seed sown in the good ground. We believe, take good solid root in the Lord. And no matter what comes, the wind, the sun, the drought, they still remain. This is the idea in a Christian world that is based in solid faith in Him. And what is the reward of that? We are in Him. Him. Who is Him? God. The Eternal. The Immortal. The All-Powerful. The All-Seeing. The All-Knowing. The All-Compassionate. The All-Merciful. When we were in school, the girls always wanted to be with the popular girls. Many of them went to be with the popular ones, and they did what the popular ones wanted them to do. I remember that, and the boys all wanted to go with the strongest ones, the most influential, the ones who had the nicest cars. I remember that the steak and shake was the place where they, all the kids went. And the manager of the Steak and Shake was a very smart guy. He only hired cheerleaders and the prettiest girls and the most popular girls in school to be the car hops. And of course, they attracted the most popular boys. And so everybody wanted to be where the popular ones were. They wanted to be where those guys with the best cars. And they picked their friends based on who <laughs> that kind of criteria. They hung out with the popular ones. If the ones who are called out of the world, who have believed in Christ Jesus, and who are baptized in His holy name, they are the most popular, they're in the most, the, the best club that there is to be in, the club that is in God, His club, His church, His people that He calls His own. This is the concept. Choose those people who are known by their works rather than their words, who are known by their sincerity rather than their insincerity, who although they acknowledge that they are faulty people filled with shortcomings. They still persevere in the faith and they do their best to, to overcome any obstacles of their own, in their own personalities, in their own uh, interactions with other people, works in progress. I don't know of any people that are just, just absolute perfection. We have to work on it. 
And so we work on it to the best of our ability in full faith and knowledge that He loves us. And this love is what translates into Him saying to the Father, Keep them, O God, as you have kept me with you since the very beginning of the world. Before the beginning of the world. So I was with you then. Keep those with you now. That we may all be manifest. Manifest means, it's a word in English, you might say a manifest. Well, if you're a truck driver, you know what a manifest is. If you're a, uh, a shipper, you know what a manifest is. If you managed a store, you know what a shipping manifest is. That's what they said they have delivered. It's a, it's a list of things that were goods that were delivered. And it's a receipt that says, yes, we received it. And they can transmit to the office and say, you can pay now. We got it. But there's another meaning of the word manifest in English, and that means to appear to you personally. To come into your life personally. To manifest yourself to that person. We don't use it very much anymore. But it is a military term. If the officer summons you, then you are to go and manifest yourself to that officer. Yes, sir, here I am. And when we are told that of these right believers whom Jesus calls to himself, and to, under the protection of God the Father, as you kept me, keep these. And you and I will manifest ourselves to them. In the above example, I said that the officer would call a soldier or a sailor, report. And they would have to report to that officer and manifest themselves to that superior. Ready for duty. But here we have God, the Father, God the Son, manifesting themselves to the people. flips these things over so that he who is superior serves those who are inferior. I love this concept of Christianity because God who is all powerful, all knowing, all present, all seeing is present in his very creation. And that shows you that he is all humble and willing to be of service to all. When, when a spoiled child calls out to his mother, I'm hungry, give me some food. The mother, I want candy, I don't want that. I want ice cream, I don't want that. A spoiled child will cry and throw a fit and throw a tantrum and say, that's not what I want, I want what I want. And I want you to get it for me, I demand so, you're my mother. And a good mother will say, uh-uh. You eat your meal and then you can have dessert. You eat your meal, then you can have dessert. And this is why I'm proud to do so. So God, being a servant of his creation, is not one who is going to put up with spoiled children who make ridiculous demands. Oh God, let me win the lottery. I'll give part of it to the church. God is not the father of spoiled children. But he will manifest themselves to those who are right believers, who have the right 
context, you are the God. I honor and I respect you and I serve you. I offer my life to you, O oh God, as you have given your life to me. If it be your holy will, empower me to be of greater service to those whom you love. This is the action of love, it's to do the will of the Father. And the will of the Father is that you love others as he loves us, in a self-serving, in a serving way self-deprecating, serving way, that sees that others who are in need and offers them from what you have, that sees others who are in distress and seeks to comfort them, and that you forgive their sins to the greatest extent of your ability. Today is Mother's Day, and we have some nice uh, flowers for our mothers, and we have some other gifts to give to the mothers here this morning. And uh, these are, we just love the mothers. Who doesn't love their mothers, right? But if we love, and we love not only our own mothers, but we love all the mothers. And so, uh, you know, I wish they would have that word in common language around here that would be, you mother lover you, you mother lover. Instead of, the, instead of the other thing, the other thing is disrespectful and crude, but to love mothers is godlike because it's filled with honor and respect. And so, I wish you all a happy Mother's Day, mothers, and I wish you all a, that if you are estranged from your mothers, haven't spoken to your mother in a long time, and something just keeps you from doing it. Speak to your mother today. Reach out and say, all the things that happen, I'm sorry. Approval or not approval, I'm sorry. But you're my mother and I love you. Happy Mother's Day. You know, it's the words sometimes. You say, well, it's just words. They should know. They should already know that I love them. You know, they, mothers need to hear those words. Because many of us in this room will say, I wish I could reach out and talk to my mother today and tell her how much I love her. They're, here, they're not here now. So we pray for the mothers that are no longer here with us because we can't reach out and talk to them today or we'll visit them or we'll send them an SMS and text message. But whatever it is, reach out and think fondly of your mother who bore you. I know that there are people who have two, three mothers foster mothers, stepmothers, and other babies' mamas. <laughs> so, those are all mothers too. As I say sometimes, you don't have to jump into the barrel with all the monkeys. <coughs> You don't have to jump in the barrel with all the other monkeys. You can just stay outside and say, Mother, I love you. And foster mother, I love you too. And mother I never knew, I wish I had known. Maybe things would have been different. And that's the idea. Happy Mother's Day, and God bless you.
mind uh, taking and distributing some of these flowers to the mothers that are here. Yes, would you mind? And I take one of your stuff. For the mothers, please. It's for the mothers. It's for the mothers here. 